we're back. Welcome to part two of the MP Helmet Restoration Project. The MP Helmet Restoration Project. Okay, anyway, so in this episode, we're going to put our graphics on the helmet. I'll be using one shot enamel, I'll be using alpha enamel, I'll be using my Kafka striping brush, and I'll be using other little fat brushes that I found laying around the studio. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. So now we're ready for our graphics. I'll be using Sign Painter's enamel right on top of the clear. Uh, this is how the helmet was originally, and like I said before, for authenticity, I've got plenty of my notes that we took before we started. I took a few videos of the helmet. So what we're gonna do through time lapse, I'm gonna put these graphics on. I will give you any pertinent information that you may need so that you can learn from this video. So what little information I have here, I do have enough to get the shape just right. So what I did was I created this pattern with what I had. The next step is to take another piece of tracing paper, put over this and rotate it until I have this circle. Using this method will give me the exact pattern I need for the layout of this design. I made a copy of the design off the internet, but it was a bit too small. So using the proportion wheel and the ruler, I then sized it to be exactly what size I needed to use as a stencil for the side of the helmet. I'll need this for exact placement and a good reference. Oh yeah, speaking of reference, is there any way I could get a like and subscribe? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'm using a Statler Lumicolor Non-Permanent Pencil. This is what I use for marking on this type of surface. After going around our stencil, I know exactly where I need to paint. It's a little hard to see in the video, but I can see it just fine as I'm painting. The next step is to lay down a white base with a slash cut dagger brush and using alpha enamel white paint. This alpha enamel paint makes a beautiful base for the rest of the graphics we're putting on. Enamel is a slow drying paint and I'll have to be very careful as I move to the other side. Using the pattern that we traced in part one, I'll start with some one shot yellow paint. So what I'm gonna do next, you can see I made this line. I'm gonna show you how I did that. I used these measurements from our original before we took the original paint off. And I used this compass to measure from the bottom of the helmet to where the line was originally. And then I take this and I use the compass as a guide to draw that line perfectly. For the top of the line is exactly the same thing. Take my compass out so that it lines up exactly, just like that and then I do the same thing up here. So now I know that my line is in exactly the right spot. See that? So as I go along, that line is exactly where it needs to be. Oh no, uh oh, oopsie, dang it. Oh yeah, every job has a couple of those. <laughs> Thank you. 
that's right, it's always interesting here at Retromod Studio. We're always having fun and keeping things light. <laughs> Gotta concentrate. So we're almost done. And in this part of the video, you'll get to see where all those precise measurements we did in part one finally come into play. Without all that painstaking preparation, we probably wouldn't be having a very good time right now. We've got the M all drawn out. Now it's time for some paint. On the letter P, I used a little different technique, just to show you that there's more than one way to do this and to add a little value to this video. I'll create the letter in cardstock, then we'll cut it out and use it as a template. I really sort of prefer this method whenever possible. Bring on the cheering section. So how it works is, generally speaking, anytime you're working over black, there's usually either two coats or at least one good coat and some touch-ups. That's just the way it is. But it was very exciting watching this piece come together and knowing that I was almost done. I always love a finished project. So there you have it, my friends. With some planning, some well-practiced skill, and a few tools, we made this small part of history look shiny and new. So I'm thankful I got the opportunity to do this job, and I'm thankful that you stuck around to watch. Remember, chin up, chest out, we got this. Until next time, Rob Rocket, over and out. <laughs>